California has the nation's second largest hydroelectric generation capacity after Washington. But when a desert state relies heavily on hydropower to generate electricity, it could jeopardize its ability to produce power reliably and without interruption. California is facing an extreme drought. Due to the intermittent nature of California's rainfall, it relies on reservoirs to act as a sort of water savings account. But even the most robust savings accounts can run dry, quite literally, in a prolonged drought situation. And make no mistake, California is in the midst of one of the worst droughts in its history. This drought will have many deleterious effects and have reduced the water allocated to farmers to 5% of what they typically get. But one of the most difficult effects of a prolonged drought is the inability to produce electricity from its vast array of hydropower plants. Because California's rainfall waxes and wanes, its hydropower generation as a share of the state's total electricity generation is highly variable. During times of drought, California may only produce 7% of its electricity from hydropower, according to the Energy Information Administration. But in wetter years, the state was one of the nation's top four hydropower generators. In 2019, nearly 20% of all electricity generated in California was from hydro. This is not one of those years. Some hydropower plants, like the Edward Hyatt Power Plant, are even looking at a possible complete closure this summer as water levels are expected to be too low to continue. These severe drought conditions are now forcing California to import more natural gas to make up for the lack of hydropower. For California, which has big green ambitions and is even tossing around a ban on natural gas and new construction, this is a setback. It also highlights the challenges that California will face as it tries to wean itself off natural gas entirely. But as the state scrambles to bring in increased volumes of natural gas, there are bound to be shortfalls, and blackouts are expected by late summer. Last year, California experienced rolling blackouts as high energy demand during a heat wave maxed power supplies. Already this year, California has reduced the amount of electricity it is generating from hydro, because already the water levels are dangerously low. 